Every single solo victory cup, I W key my first lobby, fight everybody I see. And recently, I've been dropping some pretty high kill wins every single solo victory cup. In this video, I'm gonna break down all the fights in one of those W key games, and hopefully it'll help you guys get better at W key in two. It started out with me landing at Reckless Railways. And unfortunately, this game, somebody killed the boss before I could even get there. But having a medallion in the W key games is so important, so I headed on over there and fought him. This player was obviously in this building, but I couldn't figure out where exactly, so I just slowly claim everything as I move forward. The first shot we trade and he gets a ramp over me, but I'm positioned to the right side of this box, so I can just simply back up, he walks forward, I set up a peek, fight's over. Some of the fights are gonna be really basic like that, but some of them will be a bit more advanced. In this next fight, I start out by playing slow and a little bit backwards. I typically do this to try to get a read on the opponent and see what kind of playstyle they're playing. Are they over aggressive? Are they passive? I end up taking a lot of damage here so I drop down to low ground, make some space, and let my medallion heal me up. But by the time I got healthy again and I try to start the fight, I notice there's a third party rolling up. I hear his footsteps. So I immediately make a box and I pause the fight. I don't want to be the person that gets caught over aggressing, taking damage, and then getting third partied and dying. But at this point, the opponent bases up next to me in wood, so I start to pressure it safely from the left side. The wall was one shot, so I was able to take it before he even could react, and I got that kill real fast. And I immediately claimed the opposite wall because that's the side the third party was on. Because I didn't take too much damage, I was able to immediately fight back the third party. The third party just immediately tried to jump in, which is pretty common because they assume I just took a lot of damage. So by me immediately fighting back, it caught that guy off guard. I get him coned here and the fight is over. Once again in this next fight, I have no idea where this person is, but I know he's in this building. I don't just run on through the building until I find the guy because that's the only way this player will kill me. Instead, I slowly piece control forward, breaking the walls as I go, trying to figure out exactly where he is, and eventually I do. I try to set up some nice peeks on this guy while he's in the bathroom, but really, I can't. So I block off his only exit and start just smacking away at the walls. And at this point, the guy's just a sitting duck. I just had to set up peaks and I got the kill. This player is boxed up at the most random time. A lot of times if a player is playing like this, especially in the opens, it can be a free kill. You gotta be careful that they're not sitting in the cone, but I saw him through the builds. So I just run up, immediately try to take his wall, but I don't get it. From there, I take my pump out and I'm waiting for him to make an edit, but I see him start going up. So I immediately swing walls upwards, block off that top layer, and he face planted into my wall and I was able to take a shot. I airballed the pump shot, but this guy was just completely panicking and it was another free kill. I caught this next player completely off guard and just jumped in, but it turns out somebody was hiding in the ceiling. So that was a close call, but I managed to scoop the medallion and get out of there. The only reason I ran is because I was trying to get to the island, but turns out, it got captured before I could even get there. Because of that, I turn back around and fight the guy who was hiding in the building. This player caught me off guard at first, but when he makes this edit here, I slip a ramp in his box. If I didn't put that ramp there, he might have hit me, but the ramp pushes him up and kind of messes up his aim. I managed to get out of that box, set up a peek, take a shot, and I saw him going right, so I placed this wall, set up another peek, but my pump didn't shoot. But at this point, this guy just goes on the run. He's running and running, I chase him down, and eventually he just dies. Next kill was probably the best one of the whole day. I shoot this guy way off in the distance and he died to storm. Pretty crazy one, right? As I work my way in the zone, somebody was waiting for me there, but I quickly catch him off guard with some peace control. You can place cones so far away, so I just look straight up, got this cone, and got the walls around him. If I would've got that last wall, he would've been fully trapped, but he ends up just running away. Eventually, I catch up to him, and he had just gotten cracked, so I just got right on his wall, he makes an edit, and I pre-fire him. Now, the reason that play was okay, you know, I was standing right on his wall, you may be thinking, oh, that's bad. Well, first off, I had this cone that I could flip up after taking a shot to block his shot. But I also own the wall to the left so I can escape out the side if I do get hit. At this point in the game, you kind of got to start focusing a bit more on positioning. You want to keep that aggressive mindset going, but you need to make sure you don't fall behind on your rotates at all. Otherwise, things can get sketch via lobby focuses and stuff like that. So I go ahead and rotate all the way in here and the second I get in, I get lobby focused, like the exact thing I was trying to avoid. It's honestly probably because they saw I had all those medallions via the mini map. So I just back up while blocking my angles until the lobby focus starts. I just try to create more space. 
At this point, some people in my chat were like, Jiven, you need to W key someone right now. Otherwise, you're going to lose this game. You are shambles, bro. Get on someone's wall. <laughs> but the truth is, at a situation like this, you just got to be a little patient. I waited out. I know the next zone's going to pull close to me. There really wasn't a good push to make right now. But because I was patient, I saw somebody get cracked next to me, and I immediately hop on that. And boom, just like that, we got the refresh we need to win this game. As I was rotating this next zone, I saw an opportunity to chop out this guy above me, but this was a brain dead play because I'm literally in the moving zones, just in the open. <laughs> so I got sprayed out real quick, I make some space, and everything's chill again. Once everything calmed down, I immediately just set up a peek on someone's wall. I get off to the left, start smacking on it. I make sure to block all my angles while doing this though. Once I get the wall, I notice this guy is just unaware, setting a box lower, so I just spray on it. In the first game solo finals, a lot of times you can catch people off guard like this, like people aren't very aware. After that kill, I make some space with the mats and get ready for this first moving zone. I set up a peek so I can spray at the people that are rotating ahead of me. Maybe I can crack one of them and then jump on their wall super quick. But I didn't get anyone super weak, so I just rotate up. It's going up a little hill, so I get elevated. Once I get ahead, I look back and start taking some shots at people from behind me, but there was nothing there, so I just start rotating ahead again. We're making sure we don't fall behind at any point in time because getting on the back edge of zone can lead to you getting jumped by shambles players. But if you stay ahead and look back, then yeah, you can find freer kills. So I'm just rotating ahead here. And that concept worked out perfect for me here because I was ahead of the zone, I looked back at the people shambles on low ground, and I ended up picking a free kill. While I'm rotating ahead here, I get all the way to the far side of zone, the far left side, because there were the least amount of players over here, so I can W key a bit more safely. If I was on the right side and I tried to smack on someone's wall, somebody might jump in my back, but being on the dead side of zone makes it a bit easier. I get a free kill here because this guy just had no mats sitting in the open, and after getting that kill, I just continue to rotate on this left side of zone, making sure I block high ground while I do this. And at this point, I just go super sane. I get on everybody's wall, start taking it. I was utilizing zero ping a little bit here, I'm not gonna lie. But notice how I'm blocking all the angles of danger while making these pushes. I'm blocking my top and the sides where I know there are players. On the second player, I slip a ramp in his box to force him out of side, and I just stand there waiting for him to edit, and I get another free kill. I'm not worried about taking damage because I have the medallion. At this point, there's only two other players. I gather all of these materials, and I'm set up to win this. I play slow on the back edge of zone because I have all these med kits, and I know it's not gonna go to a heal off, so I just get healthy and wait to see what they do. Once they start build fighting on high ground, I just rotate on past them, get to the front edge of zone so I can hold them on the back edge. Sure enough, one of the players dropped down on the back edge and I just cut him off from in front. I'm predicting which way he's gonna go based on the way the zone is pushing him. I know he's gonna be moving left here, so eventually I catch him here and it's a 1v1. I have literally unlimited mats here, and because of that, I know I'm gonna have more mats than the guy on high ground because I've been getting all the kills, he hasn't. So I just started initiating a build fight. I build up to high ground while blocking my angles. I'm trying to avoid him jumping in on me. But sure enough, even with me trying to avoid that, he ends up just body slamming into my box. But I get out of there, get above him, and he just ends up walking into my peak, and we got the dub. A little 17 kill win. Now in a lot of fights here, I did utilize my zero ping, but if you guys utilize some of those strategies such as blocking the correct angles, being aware of third parties, taking the right peaks, then you'll be able to win more fights. I'm actually going to be moving back to high ping soon to be close to family. I'm moving in March, so starting in March, I'm going to be on higher ping again, like 40-ish ping, and I'll have some more high ping tutorials coming to you guys. Don't forget to check out the creative maps down below, lots of stuff there to help you improve. More content on the way, so stay tuned, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.